<laughs> Good morning and welcome to the first day of summer in my diary and welcome back to my BMW M3. I've got rid of the loan cars, the RS5 has gone, the BMW M2 has gone and I'm back with my satin roaring thunder army trickst BMW M3 but things are going to change for this car maybe the colour, definitely the wheels and definitely the exhaust system. So this has got a big month but I've got a big big couple of months because over the last 12 months and well for as long as Supercars of London on Instagram has existed I have been posting pictures of cars that have been seen in London and I have been itching to get into central London and carry on filming how I used to do over the last five years but I just have not found the time to do so and when I have it's been raining. So today I have have officially announced that on Supercars of London it is the start of summer and over the next month and a half to two months I'm going to be spending as much time as I can in London to bring back the old Supercars of London vlogs. Now to kick things off with a bang and something slightly different you would have already seen that I did a live stream from central London a half an hour snippet of what goes on on a Saturday and I want to make that a weekly regular thing so every single week one random evening or during the weekend I'm gonna do a live stream from London something slightly different hopefully get different guests on and basically go for a wander around Knightsbridge and try and find some insane supercars but because this car has sat on the driveway for the last 30 days I need to get it cleaned and then we're gonna take the road into central London meet up with Tom TGE and check out his Porsche GT3 RS and meet up with Alex Carms as well so let's get this car cleaned and head into London <laughs> It is clean and we are ready for London. Let's go. About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. About to see the world in action, what we can be. This is the perfect London car for you. Oh, and a, and a front plate. They work best when they're in the footwell. Whee! <laughs> What's it like driving this car in London? A race uh, car for the road in London. Uh, it's absolutely ideal. Yeah, it's bumpy. Yeah, it's um, if it was manual, it would be a lot worse, but it's, it's bearable. Because it's actually not too bad. The aircon works quite well. But it's nice and cool in here already. Yeah, I've had that warmed up. All cooled down and whatever. Yeah, so now we sell protein powder, creatine, you know, we're doing meal delivery. Yeah. Um, it's all sorts of clothing. Enjoying this, aren't you, mate? <laughs> we did a video. We did a why you don't drive a Lamborghini in London with your Hurricane. Yep. Because it was four hours of sat in traffic. You basically are just summarising my ownership experience in these cars. Much to the annoyance of everyone, it's like, do a track day! <laughs> <laughs> Actually, 5,000 and it goes all the way up to 8,500. Highly embarrassing <laughs> driving that slow stream first gear. <laughs> Have we got out of first gear yet? Uh, once. Once? Yeah, we got into second earlier. But that was only because I put it back in auto and it changed that. <laughs> Great use. Uh, GT3 RS. First gear with that wing on the back. <laughs> I'm going to just right keeping the knob on my head. <laughs> Ha ha ha! 
<laughs> I'm grinning and I don't know why. Alright, let's see if I can do all the wheels going right through here. <laughs> oh, I do this side, it's far more social. Yeah. Launch it. Note to self, do not do it. <laughs> I cannot describe how good it feels to be back like in London. I know you live in London, so it's easy for you to <laughs> hop into Knightsbridge. Yeah. But walking down Park Lane is so nostalgic. And uh, we're going to go to the Dorchester. No idea what cars are parked up there. We didn't get a glimpse of what's going on there. But um, then we're going to go for a bit of a car spotting session with Alex in the S1. There's going to be three idiots in an S1. <laughs> Can you fit in an S1? It's going to be like Diddy Kong Racing on the last Saturday. You can sit on the roof, mate. Yeah, I'm happy with that. <laughs> we'll come be in the RS. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and then we're going to prepare ourselves for the live stream. So the live stream is going to be at four, which you would have already watched. I hope you've watched it. And uh, then we're just going to try and find as many supercars as we can. Oh, that's nice. That is very nice. Very cool. This is the most awkward filming ever because my GoPros are like... I can, I can hold those. Oh. Mr. Helpful. I'm only looking helpful because I'm on camera. I'll give them back afterwards. Aston Martin duo, but oh yes. Bugatti and a ultraviolet Porsche GT3 RS. As much as I like Lava Orange... I don't like where this is going. Shut up, mate. I prefer that. Uh, <laughs> silver wheels, though, is a vibe. Silver wheels, yeah. yeah. And there's Alex. Good timing. But I need to see. Oh, it's purple. I'm just sure my camera can get that up. White and purple. So baller. So baller. He's pulling in. Alex is laughing as if like I've never come to London before. <laughs> good timing. They're not saving me a space. Huh? They're not saving me a space. Yeah. Where are the supercars supposed to pass? What's it like driving a manual in London, Alex? Um, challenging. Challenging? Yeah. <laughs> Traffic's not the best, is it? Not today. No, it's more, it's more the um, clutch, which is the issue. Your left leg's just like... Burr, burr, burr. Mm. Would you buy an S1 if it came with an S-Tronic gearbox? Uh, be too expensive. <laughs> <laughs> it'd be less fun, though. Do you not think it'd be less fun? Yeah, no, this on, this on a country road is perfect. Yeah. yeah. Actually sucks your stomach in when you floor it. Mm. Not that we're going to get that experience today. I didn't even get it in Tom's GT3 RS. <laughs> Sat at 10 miles an hour. That's how I do it. <laughs> he didn't change gear on Slow Street. No, but we, <laughs> <laughs> literally, we sat at 30 miles an hour at 6,000 RPM. Yeah. That's <laughs> How else are you going to drive down Slow Street? <laughs> That's the way to do it, isn't it? The average MPG down Slow Street must be about 50% less than any other. There's some sort of thing with car noise there. They either want more or they want less, and I can never remember which one it is. <laughs> it's always, always more. I thought yeah. it was more, yeah. Isn't yeah. that like the primary spotter street? Always yeah. more. Thank you. The, one of the world's smallest cars is still missed. Yeah. Oh, that's not <laughs> <laughs> good. I think you need to reverse it back, mate. <laughs> oh, that is actually. Yeah. It's, not bad. <laughs> <laughs> it's one calamity to the next, isn't it? <laughs> That's a really good cool nice colour. Is it a wrap? It's a wrap. But it looks like paint. I like that. On their hand wash. On their hand washes. Yeah. They just clean your shoes. Well, yeah, it's polite, isn't it? <laughs> this is absolutely fine to do in a restaurant. Yeah, I think it is. Oh. <laughs> that was nearly a head on collision. Yeah. <laughs> it's a Porsche! Oh, it's broken. <laughs> Here we go. 
London. This is what London's about. There he is. Tony! Park up. Clarens are like buses. None and then two. Right. Uh -oh. <laughs> Live stream stress over and it just kept coming up with a massive red no service, no connection, I couldn't see comments, I could barely see myself, so my own live stream was lagging, which completely sucked. No, left, 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 sorry. And uh, we're now gonna go and meet up with Alex and Tom. Tony is driving me around in his beautiful McLaren because apparently there's a LaFerrari, so we need to turn right here. But I don't know what the police are doing. Sorry. I'm lost. Snug. Right, I'm finally out of London. An entirely stressful last half an hour, 45 minutes. So my car actually got locked in the car park. TG stayed in central London. His key fob was in his Porsche and I couldn't get into my car, couldn't get out. I had to wait for a car to come out, so the gates opened, I got in, and then I was stuck inside with my car. It was a mess, and to be honest, I probably should have vlogged it because it was a disaster, but I'm out, I'm out. The traffic's starting to build up, the sun's going down, and I'm gonna leave it there. I'm a little bit stressed out about that live stream because at the moment, with my YouTube channel, and all the time with my YouTube channel, I want to be proud of the content that I make, and at the moment, the videos that I'm uploading, I am proud of the production, I'm proud of the shots, I am proud that those videos sit on my channel, and that live stream, as, as fun as it was, it was a very, very fun live stream. I mucked up the landscape portrait thing, which I tried everything, and it turned out, now, there's a glitch that you have to lock your phone, turn it sideways, unlock it, and then you can live stream in horizontal. But the next one will feature my Lamborghini. I cannot wait to get back driving that car. It has sat at Dub Customs collecting dust way too long, and fundamentally, it has been pretty depressing to be away from it for so long. But I'm gonna be back in it, and I'm gonna really, really crack on and make sure that all of the videos that I make, the live streams, the pictures, everything that I do is spot on and stuff that I'm proud of, essentially. Typical M25, really. Joining it, st stuck in traffic, brilliant. <laughs> I'll see you soon, guys. Take care, enjoy the weekend, and uh, I will see you in the next video. Cheers, guys.